Canada Among Nations was initiated about 25 years ago to select a topic in Canadian foreign policy and then treat it in some depth, both for students, scholars, as well as for policy practitioners. Uh, this year we've selected Africa as the theme, and my colleague from Carleton University, Teddy Sammy, and I are co-editing the volume. Africa is on the rise again. Um, Sub-Saharan Africa, if you look at all the countries together, is, is one of the regions that has the highest growth rates right now. In fact, I think you know, a fairly significant number uh, of countries in Sub-Saharan Africa are among the high growth economies right now. So there's certainly a lot of improvements on that side. Uh, there's also improvements on governance, uh, democracy has improved. Um, and what we really want to look at is both opportunities for Canada and for Sub-Saharan Africa uh, in terms of a Canada-Africa relations that has had a very you know, fairly long historical uh, relationship. We have a wide range of contributors. We have academics, we have practitioners, we have uh, people from civil society. And the idea is to bring them together, all of whom have very deep and wide experience in Africa as well as with Canadian public policy, bring them together and treat this subject in the detail that it deserves. And it's a subject, by the way, that has not been dealt in great depth uh, academically or in public policy. One of the themes of the book is that the Canada-Africa dimension is one that has not been fully understood and used to the benefit of all sides. The, this edition will be important for raising awareness and shedding light on Canada's policies towards foreign policies towards Africa. And I think, you know, absolutely this will have an impact for those people who are just simply interested in Africa. It'll have policy relevance and it'll also have academic relevance. A good thing about focusing on Africa is that I think that will extend its shelf life. So if we were only talking about, you know, what's happened in the last 12 months in Canadian foreign policy, um, after an, a year, a new book would come out, this one would be already out of date. But since we're talking about relations with the region, it's, it's not so much the last year as the focus, it's more historical. Obviously it talks about the current state of relations, but I think its, it's broader view will, will keep it, uh, will make it of interest to, to readers for many years to come. This is my first time co-editing uh, Canada Among Nations. It's, it's the first time I'm involved with a project. I was bo born and raised in Africa, uh, in Mauritius, for, and I lived there for 20 years, so Africa has always been very close to me. Um, and of course, being uh, part of this team is, is something that I value a lot. It's always interesting to have so many different people uh, working on so many issues, uh, going from trade to investment, to private sector development, to the mining sector, governance, nation building, um, and to have all of these contributions together in a book I think is really interesting to me because I get to see all of them and work with them. To learn more about the book, the best thing you can do is buy the book. But in addition, if you want to know more about the series as a whole and get a bit more perspective on this year's edition, we also have a website, www.canadaamongnations.ca, and it contains all of the information you might be looking for.